Hi, welcome to Arch Merch 6.2.1. As you can see, this tutorial is about VirtualBox installing Arch Merch on it and then installing Cinnamon on it. Everything is already prepared. The only thing we should do is actually get the ISO. So we go to Google, you ask Arch Merch download or something. That's probably what you'll do. And then you'll find this SourceForge or the website with a download button. On SourceForge, you should know, you should browse all files because it provides only one big button, but we have two ISOs. One is two gigabyte big and the other one is one gigabyte big. This video is about Arch Merged. It's a base installation. You get information, uh, the base installation of Arch, and then you install the desktop you like. I've shown you that there are also other mirrors, so if the download is too slow and we have one minute left, so it's not that slow at all, then you take something that's more nearby your country. And uh, the nearest one would be France for me, or Germany, and all the rest is in the US, Brazil, Taiwan. So if you want to really have a long download, you take Taiwan in my case. And then let's have a look how many minutes that will take from the other side of the world just for fun one hour left 40 minutes 23 minutes 80 minutes around 50 minutes coming from Taiwan even going down even more five minutes and then everything is from Taiwan so cancel it's this one we need we have one ISO then you go to choose the ISO and you say you go to the download and then we have here already one IC but doesn't matter it's just an example so we start up our system you press ctrl F and I have a full screen control to the right side by the way on your keyboard there are two control buttons and we boot up into what is a very small FC environment and then later on we'll get rid of it so you will have skipped actually the installation guide from Arch Linux there's nothing to see here that's our intention the only thing you need to do here is install Arch Merge so choose your language of course then the time zone and then, of course, very important for me, I need my Azerti keyboard. Erase disk, best option, always. And then tell them what's your name, the name of your computer. You can choose anything you want there. Password. Login automatically and use the same password for administrator account. This line will work fine if you have a desktop environment but we do not have a desktop environment so that will not work we'll have to fix it ourselves arch merged can contain any of these desktop environments you can install budgie you can install cinnamon awesome anything xfce openbox i3 anything the thing is we give you an arch linux based distro and we give you things to show to display so the drivers for your graphical interface we give you a network interface and then it's up to you what display manager do you want what desktop environment do you want browsers what do you want are you going to game steam install it so nothing is installed it's all a blank slate and it's up to you to install whatever you want you can use our scripts, but you don't have to use our scripts. We advise, of course, you use the scripts and change them. A lot of work went into them. If you want to add something, it's an extra line. If you want to uh, delete it, put a hashtag in front and make these scripts, these templates, your own. Then we start. Best is actually to do Control F again. First power off get rid of this image here so there is no ISO anymore Control F again and then we get this normal menu a grab menu
first things first he wants to know your name and your password you just put it in and then we type mirror why do we type mirror this iso is going global meaning that the my service in belgium are no use to you so this mirror thing is going to look uh, what are the fastest arch servers around then it's the time to get these uh, the information the scripts you could do if you like quickly check what's happening here and type this here because there are already as you can see updates available almost one terabyte uh, one gigabyte yep so yeah um, we get again let's keep take a look group is updated and there's a new Linux kernel coming in 14.5 important stuff our advice is and it's I think a general advice um, if a Linux kernel comes in reboot and check if the Linux kernel is working upgrading Linux here it is okay almost done it's the same procedure as in any of the others XFCE, OpenBox, i3, Budgie and so on what we do is we git clone from the nets use them these scripts work people had uh, some difficulty today to install VirtualBox I said here is the script there it is run it oh yeah thank you Eric everything works like a charm so a lot of effort went into it use the scripts and um, have fun that's basically why we do this github.com we are Arch Merch it's not Windows not Mac it's Linux and this is the CD-ROM or the ISO of Arch Merged AMD dash and now you decide to have an XFCE, an i3, and so on, we decide now to install Cinnamon. LS CD AMD, and this is what we need to run it. There are two movies, two videos, actually three later on. One part is 100 till 900, the other part is going into the personal folder, and the third part is going to the Nemesis uh, customization. So let's start. This is the display manager. It's going to install uh, things like LightYM and Cinema, of course. Any of these files can be edited and checked and analyzed, changed, improved. It's all up to you. We provide the files, you change them best advice ever we use github try to use github as well there's a tutorial on archmerch.com how to explain it it's a great way to back up everything and next time you install archmerch again you just get your github not mine anymore but you build upon the work we've done it's always interesting to see in this case we can see not in all desktop environments in this case we can see something and see what cinnamon actually looks like in the start at the start not very nice indeed but this is cinnamon okay so without theming without icons without programs and applications this is the base you get this is cinnamon all right let's move that down there let's move this one like so and this is the things we need to run from here till there how do we proceed normally open in terminal but that doesn't work you can just type termite and it will work but i can give you a tip as well preferred applications open it up tell him that termite is your terminal all the rest is not important for now but when i click now right mouse click then he knows the termite is the one you need so 100 has been covered let's install some music 
sound is music. And if you want to have more than just sound, you go to Bluetooth, for instance, Bluetooth headsets. And then we go to the printers. If you don't have a printer, you don't have Bluetooth, don't install it, don't run it. Hundred forty is going to install Samba, and Samba is a way to share your folder with other people's people in the network at home. If uh, you have a folder filled with videos, movies, music, photos, etc., you can share them with other people in your own network at home. That's the idea. This is going to take. Uh, quite a bit to build this thing so I'm gonna pause the video okay that's been installed with arrow up we see the last number let's find out who's in our network that's number 150 so we can see other computers at home and then we're going to install everything that's coming from the AOR repositories it's so maybe a good thing to go into detail sometimes I always tell you more than the title of the video you know that by now if you go into let me show you something pacman.conf I'm opening pacman.conf this is testing this core extra community testing and community multilib what we call in here and let's see this one software arch repositories that's actually this thing so core extra community and multilib are the ones we mean by that the other one that's um, the AUR and the AUR is also interesting AUR packages if you google that click in here maybe make an account why not login AUR and you see at the packages of AUR then you can take a look, for instance, by votes, what do people find great. So 2,997 people voted for Yahoo, Dropbox, Microsoft Fonts, Google Chrome, Android. But if you click on popularity, it's going to be Pakao, Spotify, Visual Studio Code, Skype for Linux. So take a look at, let's say, the first five pages or so and see what people find interesting so popularity or the votes it's up to you what you take maybe you take both so that's what we call AUR because we have it here number 300 300 is going to be the one from the arch user repository that's what we make uh, the difference so this is the standard arch repos this is AUR this is specific to the distro we are having could be awesome it could be be um, how do you call it xfce or open box or i3 or any other so in this case it's cinnamon but it's coming from the normal arch repo repos and this one is going from the aur repos same applies here but then this is the, our own repo arch merch repo okay 200 is done now a very long one 300 is one of the biggest why well, because a lot is in there, so simple as that. If you don't put so much lines in there, you don't install all these things, well, it will be faster. But the question is, do you want it or don't you don't do not uh, if you don't want it, you just put a hashtag in front like this. Say so, okay, don't want full retro term, I've seen it, I know what it is, but I don't want it installed. And so on. What did we do? Don't save. What did we do? We provided here a lot of scripts, all kinds of applications. And not all applications that are in here are in the script. So take a look at these things. Fiverr is maybe something you don't know, or Slack. Things that are, well, relatively new. Uh, friends, for instance. Um, I think it's meetfriends.com. The website so a lot of things that are 
not even going to be installed but it's in here all right and the same applies for this but ds is distro specific so things that we need for our system are going to be in this folder here let's put uh, again on pause because like i said number 300 it's going to take a while okay we just finished number 300 let's go on to 400 that's specific distro so for cinnamon in particular and in this case nemo it's our file manager in cinnamon so that was 400 let's go over to 500 it's going to take a little bit longer but this yet thing or yad thing it's to you to show our conkeys in that's why we need it so we do want our conkeys as well in cinnamon that's that said, let's go to our rolling packages so arch merch has its own repo uh, somebody asked me on google the other day and said how do manjaro manjaro differ from um from from arch installations i said look um manjaro has its own repos we have our own repos the only thing we use is the manjaro installer which is actually the calamaris installer so it's a separate project calamaris is a tool to provide installation on our systems but for the rest everything is coming from arch everything is coming from aor or everything is coming from the repo from arch merge and that's just what we did we installed all these arch merge packages now some of them will not um, be correct since these packages are created for Arch Merge. Arch Merge is XFC Openbox i3. We are working on Thunar. That's why we made a little script to clean up our act. That's the way they say it. Clean up after Arch Merge repo. So stuff that's not really necessary to be there. Just, just keeping it clean, you know. So that's done. And then we're going to install the fonts. Some more fonts, always nice to have a beautiful look. Fonts do make up for a conky, so the nice conkies we see online, these screenshots, often they are nice because the font is nice. 800 was for auto login, so I don't want to get stuck at the light DM login screen. I want to auto login straight away and be in cinnamon. That was 800 and 900 is not necessary but it is necessary if you install it on ssd i can run it it doesn't matter but we're in virtual box so we don't see this error so that's not uh, necessary to run at all we can do a sudo reboot because the next video is the one about the personal folder and we can check out what we have already now and no need to run all the others but like, like i said always say always try it out once decide what extra value it provides and keep what you like and get rid of what you don't like so we have here this um, look this is what we have now all kinds of applications have been installed icons have not been set and all that but that's um, the way it's supposed to be variety is not in not, is not started but pamac is running here so that's uh, okay and all kind of icon ah, variety is kicking in right so we can quickly change wallpaper because this is really ugly this is just a brighter one of the same thing so that's better so next video we're going to check out what this is all about so the amd cinnamon we're going to install personal move that down here and then maybe a quick tip in this tutorial already preferences toolbar click 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 and why do i do that because i i'm so accustomed to go up here and say give me a terminal so we're ready for the next tutorial